So I like to um, switch between transistors on my fuzz face, but the different gains on the Q1s uh, really swing the bias um, different places. And uh, also I like to uh, starve the Q2 bias and see the hell I'm doing, you know. So, put a little uh, digital voltmeter there, and I'm hopefully going to put one for Q1 soon too, but uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm going to let you hear it in a few seconds, but just a few details. Um, yeah, the voltmeter induces a terrible hum, so I'm going to have to... Uh, put them switchable, you know, so I can just check my voltages, then uh, switch them off and, and play, you know, so, uh, or injure the, the hum while I play and stuff. Anyway, so uh, if we look under the, the hood a little bit, so on Q2 I have a 200 gain silicon and 130 gain. Uh, germanium and on Q1 I got a 78 germanium gain and the other silicon I forgot to uh, measure it but uh, if you look under they are, they're all transistors from the 60s that I pulled from uh, old organs and uh, they sound some sound quite different some sound the same anyway um, you can see there those are two our Texas instruments and then this silicon here, it's got no branding, nothing at all. This little thing here is a Matsushita. And um, yeah, only one, it's all a textbook, uh, t a textbook uh, face, a fuzz face. Only thing I change is the gain control. Because all the control is in the last quarter of the swing, so, of, of the turn. So, I... You know, I put a 500 ohm pot with a 500 ohm resistor. Uh, so the pot only swings half of the 1K. You know, the, the second half of the gain. Uh, so that's about it. I'll let you hear it. Oh yeah, just one thing. Um, check out my little rig. Uh, so I'll, I'll be just putting the phone on the guitar stand. It's... I've done, I do this a lot, uh, to just to hold and film down the pedal, and uh, I'm not even going through an email, I'm going through an RP500 and through a, a Sennheiser headphones, and I just put the he both headphones on each microphone, on each side of the cell phone, so I don't know how it's going to sound, let's see. So you hear the hum? That's uh, bypass. And that's the ridiculous hum that uh, this little voltmeter is inducing. Okay, so I'll put right now the... Okay, so just to give you an idea here how... Um, how the voltage swings uh, Q1 I have a 78 gain and the other one is quite higher I don't know how much but I uh, see I'm gonna like uh, I bring the bias way down because when I kick in um, the lower gain one it ramps the voltage way way up and if I leave the gain too high the voltage is really really high but yeah, what my bias isn't there right. I have like a, a protection resistor, 4.7k. So my collector isn't going straight to the 9 volt when my bias is all the way down there. The, and the, the bias pot is 10k. So um, let me see. Okay, one thing I found interesting is how... Um, you know there's an old myth about how... Zinc batteries, you know the the crappiest nine volt batteries sound better than you know the the alkaline batteries or a real power supply. 
And I'm realizing they, there might be a base of truth to that. Because I'm going to show you how Q2 dips severely when you strike a heavy chord. You know, I set it at 5.1 now, okay? Check this out, I'm gonna like hammer it pretty good. It's gonna go down to three point something. I even saw 2.8 there. So just like a tube amp, uh, the vault, you know, there's a voltage sag. There's a pretty good drop. And now I'm on a real boss PSA 120 power supply, a full, uh, and this thing and the supply is 500 milliamps so this fuzz shouldn't be drawing more than like uh, three to five milliamps so it's really not because of the power supply okay so i'm thinking it may be a really cheap uh, carbon well carbon zinc battery it might dip even lower because uh, and also if it's kind of dying uh, we all know dying batteries. If you ever played with dying batteries, they don't handle load very well. They're, they're going to dip. So I'm thinking maybe that voltage dip creates some kind of compression or sputteriness or something as you uh, play and that uh, voltage dips, you know, because it really does, as, as you just saw. And I'm going to let you hear it. Well, you've heard a million fuzzes before, but... I suppose after uh, watching this, you may want to hear it. Yeah, you hear that hum? Anyway.